Your Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Your Royal Highness Prince Philip, Honourable Members of the Royal Family, Ladies and Gentlemen, Friends, it gives me great pleasure to pay a state visit to the United Kingdom at the invitation of Your Majesty. I wish to take this opportunity to congratulate Your Majesty on becoming the longest reigning British monarch. I also wish to extend on behalf of my wife and all the members of the Chinese delegation our heartfelt thanks to Your Majesty, Your Royal Highness, and our British friends for your warm and gracious hospitality. China and Britain, respectively, represents the great Oriental and Western civilizations. Though far apart geographically, our two countries have long engaged in close interactions. China's Confucius and Taoism thinking as well as the four great inventions left an indelible imprint on the evolution of British culture and science and British writings, such as the wealth of nations and evolution and ethics, opened a new horizon to modern Chinese scholars. While Chinese silk and porcelain products fascinated Britain, the Industrial Revolution that originated in British uh, in Britain transformed the world's silk and porcelain industries. The Chinese tea, which the Britons turned into the famous English tea with their typical ingenuity, added a much refined taste to the British way of life. Cultural interactions between China and Britain have enriched our civilizations and enabled our societies to move forward. They have also made a remarkable contribution to the progress of human society. As a Chinese saying goes, nothing, not even mountains and oceans, can separate people with shared goals and vision. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the victory of the Chinese People's War of Resistance Against the Japanese Aggression and the World Anti-Fascist War. As allies during the Second World War, China and Britain fought side by side to uphold justice and made significant contribution to the victory of the world anti-fascist war and the establishment of the post-war international order anchored on the uh, United Nations. As allies in the Second World War, the people of China and Britain supported each other in times of adversity, and we still remember the many moving stories about their joint war efforts. We will never forget the valuable economic and na uh, moral support provided to China by Brit Britain during those difficult times. A British journalist by the name of George Hogg helped the Chinese people in their way against Japanese aggression. He he exposed the atrocities uh, committed by Japanese aggressions in his reports. As the headmaster of the Bailey School in Shangshipu, Shanxi Province, he lost his long, uh, young life when taking his students to safe area. During the Second World War, the fishermen of Zhou Shan, Zhejiang Province in China, risked uh, their lives and rescued several hundred British prisoners of war held on the Japanese freighter. Li, uh, Lisbon Moral, the enduring friendship forged between the Chinese and British people in the f flames of war is an invaluable asset of China-UK relationship. The founding of New China in 1949 opened a new chapter in China-UK relationship. Britain was the first major Western country to recognize the People's Republic of China. In October 1986, Your Majesty and Your Royal Highness paid a successful visit to uh, China, marking a highlight in China-UK relationship. In 1997, our own two countries resolved the question of Hong Kong's return to China in a creative way, turning a new page in bilateral relations. In 2004, a comprehensive strategic 
strategic partnership was forged between China and the UK. As countries with major influence in the world, China and the UK have maintained good communication and cooperation on a range of international and regional issues. A growing China-UK relationship benefits both countries and the world as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, today, Humanity has emerged from the shadows of war and conflict that were pre prevalent in the 20th century and entered a new era of peace, development and win-win cooperation in the 21st century. With growing independence and interwoven interests, countries in the world are increasingly becoming a community of shared future. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the founding of the United Nations. As the founding members of the United Nations and the permanent members of the UN Security Council, China and the UK both shoulder the lofty mission of promoting world peace and development. Being key members of developing and developed countries, China and the UK are both at a critical stage of national development, and we both face the challenging task of advancing reform, achieving development and bettering people's lives. As an old Chinese adage goes, opportunity may knock just once. Grab it before it slips away. In Britain, you also have a famous saying, a wise man turns chance into good fortune. As China-UK comprehensive strategic partnership enters the second decade this year, let us seize the opportunity and work together to usher in an even brighter future for China-UK relationship. Now, please join me in a toast to the prosperity of the UK and the happiness of its people, to the everlasting friendship between China and the UK and their peoples, to the health of your majesty and queen and your royal highness, Prince Philip, to the health of the members of the royal family and to the health of all the friends present. Cheers.